Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you, how to make GPS speedometer, using ESP32 and Blink 2.0. This project sends speed, latitude, and longitude, to the Blink server. And then you can check the real-time location and speed. Using Blink app, as well as Blink web dashboard. If you put this tracker in a vehicle, then you can check the real-time speed, using Blink mobile app, and Blink web dashboard. In this video, I will discuss all the steps, required to complete the project. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Here, you can see the wiring diagram. Connect the GPS module VCC pin, to ESP32 3.3V pin. GPS module RX pin, to ESP32 pin 17, that is labeled as TX2. GPS module TX pin, to ESP32 pin 16, labeled as RX2 and ground to ground. I have connected the components on breadboard, as per wiring diagram. Here, one thing you need to know is, the LED light of the GPS module, must blinks once every one second, to work properly. Next step is to configure the Blink account. For that, go to Blink.cloud. Then, log in with your email, and password. Blink dashboard will appear. Here, go to, Templates. Then, click on, New Template. A new template window will appear. Here, write any name for the template. I have named it as Speedometer. Then select board as ESP32. Connection type, Wi-Fi. And then click on Done. The template is created successfully. Now, first you need to create data streams. For that, click on, Data Streams. Then, New Data Stream. And then, select Virtual Pin. First, name the data stream as, speed. Then, select pin as V0. Data type, as integer. Next, you need to select the units for data stream. Set the units to kilometer per hour. Set the minimum value to 0. And set the maximum value to 150. You might enter the top speed of your vehicle in this field. If you want to install the tracker, for your bicycle. Then the maximum value might be 40 to 50. Next, set the default value to 0. And then, click on create button. Now, create another data stream for latitude. Name it, latitude. Select virtual pin v1. Data type. String. Set the default value to 0. And then, click on create button. Similarly, create third data stream for longitude. Next step is to create web dashboard. For that, click on, web dashboard. Here, select gauge widget for displaying speed. Then, click on, settings. Here, select the data stream v0 for speed. And then click on, save. Next, create a label for latitude. Then go to the settings of the label. Set the data stream, v1 for latitude. And then click on, save. Similarly, create third label for longitude. Set the data stream, v2 for longitude. And then click on save. Again, save. The web dashboard is created. Now, it's time to add the device. For that, click on search button. And then, click on new device. Here, click on from template. Now, select the template, that we have been created before. Name, speedometer. Then. Type any name for the device. And then, click on create. The device is created successfully. And here, the blink credential are created. Copy them by clicking here. We will use these credentials in the code. The code is available on my GitHub account. I will put the code download link in the description. Here, is the code. First, you need to install blink library and tiny GPS++ library. I have added here the download links, for installing the libraries. Next, paste the Blink credentials here, that we have copied before. And then, enter your Wi-Fi SSID, and password here. One more thing you need to know is, interval, I have set it to, 1 second. You might adjust this value, for uploading GPS data to Blink server, for a specific interval of time. Down below. You can see send GPS function. This function gets data from GPS module. 
and then send it to Blink server after every one second. The code setup is completed. Now, upload the code. That's it. Now, our project is ready to send GPS data to Blink server. Next, you need to set up the Blink IoT app. I have already made a video on installing Blink app. If you want to learn how to install Blink app, you might check that video in the description. Here, select the speedometer device. Then, set up dashboard. Then go to widgets. Here, select the gauge widget for displaying speed. Now tap on gauge widget to display its properties. Here, select the data stream as speed. Then go back. Next, create a label for latitude. Tap it. Enter name as latitude. Select data stream latitude. Then go back. Similarly create second label for longitude. This time select data stream as longitude. That's it. The Blink IoT app setup is completed. And the dashboard is created successfully. Let's test the project. Now, connect the GPS module to ESP32 and power it. Then, open serial monitor. Here, after connection is made to Blink server. Check the connection status from Blink dashboard. After connecting to the Blink server, the ESP32 starts sending data to Blink server. If you put the tracker in the vehicle, it will tell you the real-time speed of that vehicle in kilometer per hour. That is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.